Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 here on the back of our 2020 Jeep Renegade. Now guys, it's going to be an awesome little way of giving yourself a nice little platform rack to get your bikes to wherever you want to go. Now the Kuat Sherpa, of course, got that nice looking style to it. Kuat always doing a great job adding those elements of style into their bike racks. And as you guys can see, we are working here on our gunmetal gray. It gives you some nice little copper orange accents throughout the carrier as well. Now if this is not quite to your style, if you want a little bit of different options. There are multiple colors available here at eTrailer.com. This is the gunmetal gray, but it is also available in pearl and black. That way you guys can go ahead and make sure you are matching this to your vehicle however you want. Now I will say one little thing about the Sherpa here today on our Renegade. We have a very low sitting hitch. As you guys can see, we're not having a lot of great clearance on here. So later on we'll kind of break that down. And especially even as we fold it up, you can see where our anti-rattle device already is very low. So a couple things things we can do to mitigate that. One thing is we can go ahead and add ourselves a um, rise onto our hitch as well. So we can actually go ahead and get ourselves a adapter or converter to actually give us a little bit of rise on our hitch. Now keep in mind that it actually is going to be lowering your max tongue wake and that capability of your hitch. Now, however, we are on a two inch hitch here today, so we should have no trouble, of course, staying well within that capability for ourselves. And of course, you can just start looking at some carriers that are gonna give you a little bit of a better rise in your shank. If you are kind of stuck to that hitch and you don't wanna go ahead and add another thing onto the back of your hitch, highly recommend taking a look at a couple of the carriers that are gonna give you a natural little rise in there. Um, there's multiple ones available here to eTrailer.com. One of them is just gonna be your Hollywood Destination 2 bike platform rack. That gives you just about a nice inch rise in there. It does do a very good job of just getting you up and out of the way. However, it's always going to be something you're going to have to worry about if you are working on a hitch just like this one. There are a couple little hitch options out there too. A couple of them actually kind of go ahead and get a little bit into that fascia, but we're going to leave that problem solving to you at home to go ahead and make sure you are making the right decision for yourself. Now the Sherpa itself though is still gonna be a nice little bike rack. So you are getting 40 pounds of capability up on here. So 40 pounds per bike means you're gonna have an excellent time getting most of your standard road bikes and even into most of your mountain bike range. You'll notice today too, we also have our carbon frame bike up on here. The reason we can do that, our hold is actually just right here on our front tire. So as long as we have one good front tire here, we're gonna have no frame contact Therefore, we're not going to be warping or deteriorating our carbon frame bikes. Other issues you run into with some of your bike carriers, if you're looking at hanging style, a lot of times you have issues with your women's bikes, kids' bikes, and step-through bikes of having to worry about their frame element. One nice thing about that front wheel hold as well, don't have to worry about any of our frames. We can go ahead, make sure we have that one good wheel. We're going to have a good time transporting anything that we need up on here. Now, one thing I like about this too, the ratcheting arm system works very, very well. As you guys can see, not going to be opening up unless I press on that lever. Makes it really easy to clamp that down on our wheel, but won't be popping up unless I actually want it to. Of course, it exposes a little bit more of that copper orange, which always looks good. And I really do like how our cradle system works here. You guys can see, very easy little strip system. Has a little bit of matting on the underside to make sure we're not damaging our rims. And I really do like how this back tire oscillates here, allowing yourself to have your shorter bikes, of course, and your longer ones are going to have no trouble. And I might be going, Bobby, well, is it going to be hanging off the side here? Is it going to be running into any issues? Well, one thing I like about it as well, this front tire hold on the back end here acts kind of like a wheel chalk. So even if you have a slightly longer bike than the Sherpa might think it can handle, it actually will be hanging right here and having a good contact point. And as long as in tandem of our ratcheting arm system, that bike's going to be going nowhere. Now, of course, you find yourself not being able to get, if you're only getting that much of your wheel on the back end, you might have too long of a bike. However, it is gonna be doing a good job of accommodating for your longer bikes as well. It also is gonna have a little locking core that's integrated as well. And that cable lock is detached. All we have to do, run it through both of our bikes, plug it right in, and therefore our locking core is gonna make sure that our bikes stay attached to our carrier when we leave it unattended. Now, one awesome thing about the Sherpa though, it actually can tilt away while our bikes are on there. Now that's gonna be a huge advantage that you're gonna see from the Kuat of uh, kind of over a lot of its competitors on the market. To do so, to tilt it away, I just simply wanna come right up, pull that like so, and simply tilt it down and away. Now with a second bike on there, it can be a little hard to get to. And you guys can already see what that short little hitch, we are almost having contact. Luckily for us though, we're not gonna have any issue. But if you find yourself parking down by a hill, something I would watch. And as we bring this hatch open, you can see we have an easy time opening this up. However, it comes very close here on our handlebars. Now, our handlebars aren't the longest or the shortest in the world. So 
One thing I will say, if you find yourself with longer than about eight or nine inches from your middle post to one side of your handlebars, you might have a slight little issue with this hatch opening. But as you guys saw, we didn't have too much of an issue, but it does get quite close for us here today. But it's gonna be great that we can go ahead and access those coolers, bike helmets, anything we might need. This becomes an excellent option too. Maybe you're at a gas station somewhere and you just want quick, easy access. You don't actually have to end up taking off the entire bike. We just simply tilt it away and we have full access. To walk it up too, very easy, no pins or clips. I just simply lift it. That's gonna go ahead and lock in place, letting you know it is nice and secure. And therefore we can go ahead and get going down the road. Well, it's not gonna take me too much time to get our bike off to do so. I'm just gonna go ahead and undo my back strip here. And that does bring us to our last hold on our bike, which is gonna be, of course, our front tire hold. So I wanna make sure I am holding onto my bike. I don't want that tilting into my vehicle or myself to cause any kind of damage. And then I just simply wanna push in that lever like so, get our ratcheting arm up into the side, and I can simply grab my bike and walk it away, and we are already ready to ride. So walking it up and getting it mounted is very, very easy. You guys can imagine, all I gotta do, walk my bike up and set it. The strip does kind of like to hang in your way a little bit. All you gotta do though, loop your tire underneath it and walk it in. Actually makes it quite a little bit easier to actually get that strip set into. So don't be daunted by the fact that it's hanging right there. It is a friend and it's ready to help. So we can go ahead and bring our arms in just to go ahead and get it nice and condensed. And that's one thing I really like about the Sherpa. You can see it's not taking up too much room here on the sides. So you're definitely not gonna be worried about your turning radius at all. Now, a couple dimensions we want to keep in mind with any hitch-mounted accessory, we are going to be adding length to our vehicle. Now, the Renegade, not the longest vehicle out there, but let's go ahead and see exactly what we're working with here from the rear of our vehicle to the very end is going to be putting us right about 30 and I'd say a quarter inches there to the very end. So definitely not going to be the worst length I've seen added on the back. The Sherpa, again, kind of nice and uh, kind of smaller of a carrier as well, which is a nice little advantage. And we do have a way of tilting it back up. Before we do so though, one big thing we wanna watch is gonna be our clearance here. So we already are on shorter of a hitch as we said. So we are gonna go ahead and get that measurement later here. But as those front wheels go up, your rear wheels will go down, and so will your hitch-mounted accessory. So the longer you get from your axle, the more tilt you're gonna have. So we definitely do need to watch it here. Looks like our shortest element is gonna be right here to the rear end of our carrier. So that's gonna be putting us right at 16 and a half inches there. That is gonna be quite nice. However, we're definitely still gonna to have to watch some of our other clearances. So make sure we are paying attention as we get those guys. But to bring this back up and give us a little bit of length here, we actually can go ahead and bring this in line close to our vehicle. We're just gonna go right back up to that little lever we utilized earlier. And instead of allowing it to tilt down, I'm gonna bring it right back up here. It's gonna go ahead and lock in position as well right there. You're gonna see just a hair of movement, definitely not something you're gonna be feeling or hearing as we go down the road. And that is definitely gonna help us with that length. As you guys can see from the rear of our fascia here today to the very end is putting us at 11 and a half inches there. So really cutting down a lot of that length that we were dealing with. Now we're gonna have no trouble getting this guy in the garage or at least a lot more maneuverability when we need to park it. One thing to keep in mind too, you might go, well, those arms you make in contact with my vehicle. I really like how much resistance they have. As you guys can see, this actually takes me hitting it on the very ledge of it or the very end of it, which is a lot of leverage. So if you just have natural road shake, you're not gonna be at all worried about these guys moving as they have a very good natural resistance in them. So therefore we won't be having any contact, but just to go ahead and ease our minds here, you guys can see our closest position is gonna be right under two inches there to that arm. So yes, we're sitting a little close, but that can be nice guys. Of course, we're not having to worry about that extra length and therefore we're nice and tight to our vehicle makes it way easier to maneuver this guy Moving our way to the inside though here You guys can see we are working on our two inch hitch here today or in our two inch shank as well Allowing us to utilize that two inch hitch as we mentioned now on the inside here You are just having this a little alignment pin now This guy's really just to go ahead and make sure you are nice and aligned and of course to house your locking core on the other side this is gonna come with multiple keys, allowing you, to, of course, to have a couple spares, and they will be keyed alike to that integrated locking core that we have. So that makes it really easy. Of course, if you're like me, a little forgetful, that way you always have a key. And of course, make sure your carrier is attached to your vehicle when you leave it unattended. Now that does bring us to our anti-rattle device, which is actually right here on the end. It actually just, just tightens a little cam ball on the inside of your shank, bringing this online to your hitch, taking all that play out. And as you guys are gonna see, as I give this guy a shake, it is gonna be shaking 
the entirety of our Renegade. That means we're all in line with one system, taking out all that play, making for a nicer, smoother ride for ourselves, our bike rack, and especially our bikes. And one last little thing about that, guys, you can see that little insert. It's just got a little bit of room for a hex bolt there. That makes it really nice to go ahead and really tighten down. If you find yourself on longer road trips, you can really cinch it, and that way you don't have to check it every 50 miles. You know you are nice and secure. Of course, that foot pad right here or that lever right in this position becomes great because maybe you're like us. You don't have a bike stand on your bike. It's kind of hard to hold it. You can walk right up with your bike in one hand, your extra hand here. You can press in right here and actually get this set and get your bike up on there. So it is quite nice how you can start utilizing this guy. However, in this position, I always find it's just easier to reach with your hand, but nice that you have that little kickstand there for when you actually wanna get your bike mounted up. Well, again, guys, I think the Sherpa in this condition might have a little bit of an issue of actually fitting on a Renegade. I would just be really worried about this bottoming out, especially for how nice of a bike rack it is. It's something I'd be worried about. Again, we can combat that with adding a little bit of rise to our shank. Um, on our hitch, I'm sorry, I should say. Keep in mind, it is gonna degrade that hitch capability a little bit, but our Sherpa is gonna be well within those requirements for ourselves. So in my opinion, that's the only way I'd be really comfortable fitting the Sherpa on there, or of course, making sure you're getting a hitch that actually kind of goes into your facial a little bit, can give you that a little bit of rise that's gonna be very, very helpful. However, the Sherpa gonna be an excellent way of getting your nicer bikes to your destination, and of course, look good doing it. Well guys, I think that about does it for our look at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 here on the back of our 2020 Jeep Renegade. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage or driveway. So we can see here how the bike rack moves with our truck.